Hello, hello. <clears throat> Lisa Zimmer here today. I've been sitting here for 15 minutes trying to go live. Yay! Breathe deep. Smell some oils. <sighs> Comment when you come on. Hey, Valerie. All right, I need some help problem solving, my friends. I normally go live in Yay Oils Public Education through Zoom. It won't let me. It's saying I don't, it just won't let me. It will not pull up Yay Oils Public Education as one of my pages through Zoom when I click live to Facebook. So I need some problem solving help. Then I tried to log in through my computer it won't let me do that either. So I'm on my phone, which I don't want to do <clears throat> because I can't follow along very well and I can no longer <laughs> read what I wanted to read from my phone to you because I'm on my phone. All right, so now I have to try to figure out where I posted the research for you about what we're gonna talk about today. <laughs> Technology legit tries to torture me. Tries to do everything possible so I cannot help people. All right, here it is. Use of aromatherapy through oil diffusion while asleep produced major memory boost in recent research. Use of a different fragrance every night of the week for a total of seven different fragrances. Rose, orange, eucalyptus, lemon, peppermint, rosemary, and lavender. For six months, resulted in a 226% cognitive performance increase compared to the control group in people 60 to 85 years old. Now, I don't have any additional research. Don't ask me for it. Yeah. Right? That, that's what we got. Okay? Um, then we have a question in the comments of that. If a person has lost their sense of smell, can aromatherapy be helpful? Yes, you. we have already posted that in that group, Sally. So um, go um, check that out. Uh, sense of smell. Uh, we, have, we have tons of, of protocols on that. All right. Um, you can just Google that. Okay? Um, all right, so what are these oils? Rose, orange, eucalyptus, lemon, peppermint, rosemary, lavender. What else are they good for? Why do we want to order them, right, and diffuse them? Also, mm, the screenshot's on my phone. You only need a couple drops of each, right? So in a small diffuser and a minimum of two hours. So do three to four drops. Um, line those oils up on your bedside table and do a, a couple drops, three to four drops each night. Okay. So just people are going to misinterpret that. It is a single oil each night of the week. Okay. So rose on one night, orange the next night, eucalyptus the next night, etc. So what are these oils good for and why do we want them in our inventory? Okay. So let's read rose first gonna read everything for the sake of time all right rose is great for a healthy libido and lack of sexual confidence rose is excellent for anything on the skin anything good bad and ugly rose is great for grief sad feelings feeling broken-hearted feeling lonely, heart health. It's great for childbirth and baby blues. It's great for anything female related as far as ovulation, menstruation, <coughs> excuse me. It's great for brain health and nerves. This is Rose, I need to get some water. <coughs> it's great for fine lines, scars, wrinkles, facial capillaries, redness. 
It's great for semen production and prostate health. It's an incredible perfume. It helps you to go from feeling isolated to loved. Hold on, I gotta uh, tickle my throat, I'll be right back. So we're talking about the benefits of rose, orange, eucalyptus, lemon, peppermint, rosemary, and lavender, and why you should um, pick one for each night of the week. There's seven oils, seven nights of the week, and diffuse that single oil each night. So rose one night, orange the next night, eucalyptus the next night, for a minimum of two hours, three to four drops each in your diffuser. I'll be right back. Here's what's also cool about some of those oils. Are you ready? Orange, lemon, and peppermint in that list, along with the free clove that you can get this month if you order by the 15th, right? Look in my post for details on that. Those oils, orange, lemon, peppermint, and clove are good for ants. I have an ant infestation, so we are working on that right now. All right, we talked about rose. Let's hop on over to rosemary just because it's right here in my book. Rose, rosemary. Rosemary is good for um, mental fatigue, adrenal support, head and neck tension, respiratory support, your sense of smell, memory, focus, prostate health, Nighttime urination, so for example, um, oh, I didn't know about that. So rosemary for um, nighttime urination. We also know balance oil and cypress oil. So you could do in a roller 10 drops rosemary, 10 drops cypress, 10 drops balance in a 10 milliliter roller topped off with um, fractionated coconut oil and roll that across your abdomen before bed. Who got the lip gloss that sold out? Me. Get ready with me. Hope you got it, it's beautiful. It's more brown. I prefer pink, but I do love it. Okay, and it tastes amazing. All right, so hopefully you got four of those. And then the bubble diffuser. And they're gorgeous. This sold out as well, I think. All right, hopefully you got that too. And this is in, and then my other box is out on the doorstep. All right, rosemary. <clears throat> Clearly I need it for lack of focus. I'm gonna use for focus in tune. Rolled around the ears. I already rolled brave. That's good for focus. I had some killer focus going earlier, but my oils have worn off. Thinker. Oh, yummy. Oh, Shinrin Yoku. We're calling it Yoku. It's going on the back of my neck. Uh, Shinrin Yoku in your diffuser at night is great for cortisol. Okay, Shinrin Yoku, diffuse while sleeping. Add that into your routine, right? Do these seven oils in your routine and just keep rotating them. And if you, there are other oils you like to incorporate, I am not gonna skip cardamom, right? So I can do cardamom every other night. Do rose one night, then cardamom, orange, then cardamom, eucalyptus, then cardamom. Figure out what you love, right? But get these oils diffusing. <clears throat> we are talking about um, cognitive function, okay? And a huge testimonial I posted in here. What else is good for rosemary? Uh, what else is rosemary good for? Um, dizziness, hair growth, we know that, it's in my hair growth spray. Tired or weak muscles, bone pain. Um, Oh, what else? Liver and kidney support, nervousness, sad feelings, addiction, low dopamine, jet lag, cellulite, and lymphatic drainage. Um, a great recipe for cellulite would be rosemary, cypress, metapower, and grapefruit. Um, 10 drops each in a roller bottle topped off with fractionated coconut oil and roll where you have cellulite. 
um, chemical toxicity or exposure, rosemary is great for um, cleaning things up, right? Getting things to drain and cleaning things up. Um, rosemary is great for um, blood sugar support. Emotionally, it helps you to go from feeling confused to open-minded. All right, let's go to eucalyptus. <clears throat> eucalyptus is great for respiratory support. Speaking of which, my favorite go-to, everyone's starting to feel under the weather lately with the sore throat and all that jazz, right? Tea tree. I do tea tree everywhere right now. I drink it, I slap it on straight, I diffuse it, I roll it. All right, we're talking about eucalyptus. Um, respiratory support, so roll it all over your chest. We're talking about the diffuser blend for cognitive function. Um, it, eucalyptus is a great mosquito repellent. It's great for elevated body temperature, muscle fatigue, knee or joint aches and discomforts. Um, Maintaining healthy blood pressure, improve circulation, roll it around the ears for ir irritation, eucalyptus on the throat for sore throat, eucalyptus for mental sluggishness, head and neck tension, kidney stones and bladder support, breast health, anything female related, apply it to the abdomen. Estrogen metabolites, cellulite, so add um, eucalyptus to that cellulite recipe I just read off, and it's great for cleaning and disinfecting. Emotionally, eucalyptus helps you to go from feeling congested to stimulated. Now remember, our eucalyptus is special. It has four different species of eucalyptus in it, okay? So that's what makes our eucalyptus special. Right, let's go to lemon. All right, lemon, liver and kidney support, cellulite. Add lemon to our cellulite roller. Um, toxicity, low glutathione levels, kidney support, gallstones, water retention, maintaining healthy blood pressure, hangover. Um, it's great for runny nose and allergies, uh, lymphatic support, um, congestion and mucus, sad feelings, low energy, brain fog, lack of logical thinking, maintaining healthy cholesterol, anything digestive, lemon, is, lemon and orange, peppermint are all great for digestive support. Uh, Lemon helps you to go from feeling mindless to energized. All right, next we have lavender. Again, we're re, um, reviewing oils for cognitive function. I posted a testimonial or a um, research article on 226% increase in cognitive function in a case study with these seven oils. Okay, lavender, sleep support anxiousness, teeth grinding, allergies, dandruff, cuts and wounds, maintaining healthy blood pressure, um, eye irritation, muscle and neck tension, Emotionally, it helps you to go from feeling unheard to expressed. We're flying through these because there's a lot. I'm not touching on everything, obviously. All right, peppermint. Lemon, lavender, and peppermint are great for sinus support. All right, mix those three together. I know a lot of you use that every single day um, for allergies, okay? Lemon, lavender, peppermint. It's our um, Tri-Ease blend capsules. All right, peppermint is great for anything digestive, fatigue, elevated body temperature, hot flashes, head and neck tension, warm skin from the sun, respiratory support, brain fog and memory, um, circulation, varicose veins, 
Um, peppermint is great for the myelin sheath support. What does that mean? Myelin sheath encompasses uh, nerves. And so um, any kind of nerve damage, peppermint helps support the myelin sheath, right? Get it in your body and on your body every way possible. You can do peppermint soft gels, peppermint beadlets, um, oils on the tongue, peppermints in my coffee every day, peppermints in my diffuser every a diffuser every day, right? Um, peppermint does decrease breast milk supply, so just know that if you're um, breastfeeding. It's great to help with your sense of smell. So back to those oils. In fact, um, Sally, most of these oils, I believe, are on the sense of smell list. So everybody wants these seven oils in their inventory. Rose, orange, wild orange. Rose, wild orange, eucalyptus, lemon, peppermint, rosemary, lavender. Peppermint's good for rodent repellent, insect repellent. I'm using it right now along with lemon and orange and clove for ants. Um, peppermint's great for hangover, bad breath, cravings, anything um, female related, menstrual cramps, irregularities, etc. Emotional, it helps you go from feeling hindered to invigorated. Great, that's peppermint. Now we're into wild orange. We're flying through these today. I don't want to keep you today because this is a lot of oils. I want you to make sure you have your book. So order this on oillife.com, ninth edition. Make sure you download the app, um, Oil Life. Let's go to Wild Orange. All right, Wild Orange. Sad feelings, fear, isolation, irritability, lack of energy or creativity or productivity or concentration, productivity. Um, tissue and cellular health and regeneration, anything um, digestive, heartburn, sluggish bowels, etc. Um, helps maintain healthy cholesterol, drink it in a glass of water or in a capsule. Digestive upset due to anxiousness, take it in a capsule and inhale from your cupped hands. Trouble sleeping, stress, anxiousness, addiction withdrawals, excessive appetite, uh, menopause, weakened bones, prolapse uterus, dull, oily, damaged skin, and wrinkles. Now, remember, if you're going to apply uh, any citrus oil to your skin, especially for wrinkles or whatever, you do not want to go out into the sun. It is photosensitive. I give myself 24 hours. It says 12 hours. I give myself 24. <clears throat> you can use it in cooking, and wild orange, along with peppermint, is one of my favorite diffuser blends to use all day. Using wild orange emotionally can help you from feeling drained to productive. There will be some wild orange being diffused today. I pretty much always have citrus oils being diffused, whether it's citrus bloom, citrus bliss, adaptive, wild orange, lemon, grapefruit, and lately along with peppermint. Okay, so you can diffuse these oils during the day as well. So say you have a sleep blend right, that you love to use and you don't want to vary from, you can diffuse these oils during the day. On one day, do rose. On the next day, do orange. On the next day, do eucalyptus, etc., and so on, okay? Um, you can also add some other oils to that. I've been doing peppermint and wild orange and rosemary for focus, so I'll go ahead and do that, and I'll use some of these other oils on another day. Um, I am very dead set on diffusing cardamom at night on bedtime um, because I've been getting the best sleep I've had in a really long time. I used to do it all the time and I fell off the wagon a couple years ago for some reason. I think I was just trying to be cheap. Um, I like to be very frugal with my oils and it's $31 for a five milliliter. It is worth every drop. I only need to put two drops in my diffuser at night because it is so powerful and um, I sleep better, and I've had an amazing transformation. Um, there are two things I started at the same time, cardamom in my diffuser at bedtime and eating one Brazil nut every day, no more than one, or else um, the selenium in it can be toxic. So one Brazil nut a day and cardamom a couple drops in my diffuser at night, huge transformation in my uh, mental health, and um, positivity, um, confidence. Um, I'm not overanalyzing as much stuff and I'm getting more done. 
Um, I'm not having the uh, menopause emotional roller coaster. All right, let's see what kind of questions you have. Um, let's see, not a lot of questions or comments. It just says all watching. Hmm. Is no one commenting? Who knows? Technology is not working at all for me today, so I apologize um, for the quality of video, etc. All right, let's see. Eight comments. Diane, when using hydrating cream under the chin over throat, do you massage upward or downward? I just get that stuff on my face. I don't overthink it. I think you're supposed to go upward. I came in late, so didn't catch the beginning. Is it being suggested to use these oils individually at night before bed or while sleeping? While sleeping. It is suggested to be used, use them one oil at a time. So one night rose, one night wild orange, one night eucalyptus, one night lemon, one night peppermint, one night rosemary, one night lavender. Benda says I'm late again. Well, don't worry. I was five minutes early and I was still 10 minutes late because my Zoom will not connect to Facebook group yay oils public education all right makes no sense there's miss liza i got to spend the last 24 hours with miss liza that was awesome we had a great time all right put these oils on your list rose orange eucalyptus lemon peppermint rosemary lavender if you don't have them already make sure you get your holiday items um mo uh i'd say about a third are sold out um and um don't dawdle. Holiday update, clove. Yep, get your free clove by the 15th, all right? I'm checking out. I've got an ant infestation problem I'm gonna go work on, so I've got a sprayer with my Abode cleaning spray, and then I added like 10 drops of lemon, orange, clove, and peppermint. Those are good for ants, all right? So I'm working on that. Of course, they're still coming tomorrow because it's um, the whole building's a problem. So if they don't get the whole building taken care of, it's going to continue to be a problem, All right? Um, hope you guys have a great day. I want to hear in the comments what you need help with. All right, and uh, tell me how you're doing, and um, tell me what holiday products you got that you're excited about. All right, have a great day. We'll see you next week. Happy oiling.